So here's a hint. When moving the free line, lead with your best stuff. Lead with your very best stuff. Now, why do we want to lead with our best stuff? Any guesses? We want to lead with our best stuff because the customer out there doesn't know us yet. They don't like us. They don't trust us. They're suspicious. They know that we are the bad business person that's going to try to force whatever it is that we have down their throats. And then they're going to be stuck with it. And they're going to make a bad decision and they're going to be embarrassed because they have to tell their family and their spouse that they blew the money on this thing that didn't work out. That's not what they want. And if you give them a crumb and you say, here's something that's probably worth 20 bucks, but it's kind of one of our throwaway things, but here, take this and then come back and give me your money, that doesn't fly. If you show up to my website and you're a business person and you need some business advice, and you watch one of my videos, and it's just an okay piece of information, it wasn't one of my better things, are you going to assume that all the stuff behind the curtain is better or worse? You're going to look at it and you're going to go, that was just okay, your stuff's probably all just okay. If you come to my website and you watch something and it's really profound, it's Im impactful, you immediately go, oh, I know what to do with this, and you go do something different in your business as a result of it. You immediately take it. It's so good that you put it into action immediately. Are you going to assume that the rest of the stuff behind the curtain is better or worse? Right? You're going to be like, oh, there's even more stuff back there. That thing worked. It's all these gems. We humans tend to keep our best stuff to ourselves. We want to hide it from the world. We don't want anyone to know. Only people who give me lots and lots of money can get the really good stuff. Well, in this case, that will prevent you from having a lot of success. Okay? When we made our free business analysis quiz, we were giving away something that was pretty valuable. I, I argue that it's one of the most valuable ideas, concepts, pieces of software that's kind of been given away to a large group of people. I could probably make an argument that we gave away, you know, a million dollars worth of stuff or who knows, some big amount of stuff. Was it worth it to give away a million dollars worth of stuff to launch a business that could potentially be around for a long time? I think so. People didn't come to us because we gave them something that was just okay. They came because we gave away something that they went, whoa, that's cool. And if you're giving that away, how cool must be the free stuff? Or no, how cool must be the stuff that I pay for? The free stuff is that good. So quickly right now, get a blank sheet of paper. I'm going to do a little exercise. We've learned how to think like customers a little more here. We've learned that it's all about what's going on in their mind, where they're coming from, what their needs are. What's that fear, frustration? What's that driving motivator that they have? What's going on for them? And how does that connect to the thing we're giving them to deliver them to the promised land, to deliver the result, the outcome, the benefit that they want? That's where we're going to start. From there, what is one thing that you know you have in your head, a product, a service, something you could give away, deliver at a very, very low cost in mass, but has a high perceived value, $20, $50, $100 or more, that if you gave that thing away to your prospects, would make them go, whoa, this is incredibly valuable. Might be an idea, might be a technique. If you're a real estate salesperson, might be a negotiating technique that you've discovered over the years. It might be a way of pricing homes. It's something that you don't share, but with your best customers. What is that thing that you figured out that is your gem, your magic bullet, the thing that you figured out that you could make into a product, a download, a video, something that you could deliver in mass? How could you package it up so that it could be delivered in mass at a very low cost? Just take a couple of minutes and brainstorm. Write down three, four, five ideas that come to mind.
Let's have uh, no talking during this exercise. So here's what I want you to do now that you have all of this information. You're essentially going to come out of this learning experience and now go back to your business with this new education, this new way of seeing the world. At the beginning, I promised that you would understand how to approach building a marketing piece from scratch and to do it in a way that gave confidence, that sucked someone in, that offered them value, and that instantly communicated that unconscious, I have something to bring you, not I'm trying to take something away. And I think at this point, you know how to do that. But just because you know how to do that doesn't mean that you know the steps to apply to create the most powerful, highest response marketing piece. Remember I said you want to start with the offer? Right, that's where I start, start with the offer. And what we did here is we started with some of the, the candy in a way, and then we led up and now we've created our offer. Because your, your free line piece, whatever it is that you're offering to them for free, that is your offer. That's the thing to start with. If you're looking for where to start, start with that. And build your marketing document around that as the foundation. So line up the beginning, the middle, and the end around that offer. And I think that it'll allow you to build something that'll be valuable to your customers. Good. So you know what we're going to do now is stop for a sec and reflect. What's a question you have? If you could ask me any question about the material that we've covered. Not about your particular situation, but a clarification, something specific, an approach, a distinction. Maybe flip back through your notes. Was there something that wasn't quite clear? Something that if I shared it might be stronger for the whole group? Okay? Something that would be valuable for everybody. Um. This isn't something you specifically address here, but um, I've heard it in your other programs, and it's just it's what we talked about over when we spoke for a moment. Um, talking about differentiating yourself in your market, about coming into your market and doing something different that everyone else is doing, and that's a real key thing. Yeah. I mean, I understood the point where you said, oh, well, when Dell built his computer,